so hello everyone uh, this is pcy original paper uh, today i will explain you pcy algorithm um, basically it is being made by three different scientists uh, three chinese scientists named as park chen yu so these are three scientists park chen yu and uh, so uh, they published a proper paper the research paper and uh, i have extracted the exercise problem from that paper so i guess it will be better to explain from the original paper that's why i have selected the example of it <clears throat> so uh, starting with uh, so the given i given question is we have a transaction id in which the transaction unique items are a b a c and d no, the second transaction is b c and e third transaction is a b c e fourth is b and e these are all the transactions that are that have been purchased that has been done for example uh, for example it is like bread milk sugar uh, this is something uh, you can say any kind of stuff that has been brought all together for example this was the customer number one who has bought a c and d like three different items or the combination of these items so so in the first transaction second transaction third and fourth there's four transactions have been given in the question second part is the hash function hash function will always be given to you so for example in this case it is um, order of x multiplied by 10 plus order of y mod 7 do not confuse right now because um, i will explain it in detail um, and the minimum support the threshold value will also be given that is 2 okay the starting with the solution how to solve this um, pcy algorithm uh, in step number one you need to count the each individual items how many are they the, the unique items for example as you can see in items in count for example if you see a how many times a occur in the table one two so a is a has a count of two b b occurs three times one two three so it has a count of three c occurs three times one two three the so c has a count of three and d occurs only one time that is the count of one and e occurs three times so we have a count of all the unique individual items this is our step number one and this is called as c1 for example if as you can see that this uh, minimum support is two minimum support um, two means that uh, the items that are lower than two should be neglected so if we neglect this d item so we have l1 set that belongs to a b c and e in that in this set we have neglected d why we have neglected d because it has the value less than the threshold value this is our first step moving on to the second step in our second step uh, we need to make pairs from transaction unique items for example our transaction item was a c d uh, second was b c e a b c e and b e if we make combinations or pairs out of it it will be a c a d c d like for example a with c first transaction a with d second transaction and what is remaining c with d as you know that a c is similar to c a that's why we haven't like um, swept it away like a c is similar to c a so we have wrote only once like a c a d or c d not reciprocating it in the similar passion we will do b c b e and c e and we will make all the pairs out of it this is our second step moving on to the third step uh, we need to apply the hash function and generate the hash table how do we need to do it for c we have five unique items a b c d and e a b c d e and the similar way a b c d a we have wrote in this way and we need to find out the hash function now how do we need to do it like the uh, question was already given uh, in the question the hash function was already given the order of x multiplied by 10 plus the order of y mod 7 this function was already being given so what you need to do as you have write a b c d e for example these are all x values and these are all y values we have i have numbered i have just numbered it out one eight one two three four five one two three four five and to apply the sign hash function we need we do have x value and y value these are x value and these are y value if i need to find out what the value will be in this cell one and one so the x value is one and y value is one this is the x value and this is the y value one multiplied by ten is ten plus one that is eleven eleven mod seven is four in the similar fashion if i need to find out one and four for example what the value will be in this cell so i need to find one multiplied by 10 plus by 4 mod 7 it will be 14 mod 7 equals to 0 3 4 third row and fourth column we need to find this cell 3 multiplied by 10 plus by 4 mod 7 34 mod 7 is equal to 6 this is how i will complete this whole table and it will be called as a bucket table 
Okay, so moving on to the step number four, we need to arrange all the unique values of hashes in the bucket table with their respective pairs, ignoring same pairs. For example, ignoring same pair means AA, BB, CC, DD, EE. These all pairs will be ignored because you cannot say that I have by A and A, like for example, I have bought bread and bread. Like it should be, and if, if we are, because PCY algorithm is for the item set, like finding the unique item set, or so we need to find the unique pairs, not like A or A, B or B, something like that. That's why we will ignore the, in the diagonal first. Secondly, we will extract only those values that are uh, having, uh, like the exception of the diagonal. As you can see, uh, the zero, zeroth value, the zero where you can see in the first row zero here. So it is A and D pair. I have wrote A, D pair here it is again zero b a pair b a pair zero again here c e pair c e pair in the similar fashion i will find out in the another one d b pair d b pair where is one one is here a e pair a e pair in the similar fashion i will fill all the pairs that are in the table ignoring the diagonal okay moving on to the step number five remove those pairs which aren't part of the pairs in step number two step number two means this these are all the pairs that are given from our transaction id so we just need to select these pairs and remove the remaining pairs out so for example as you can see in in the bucket number zero b a and d b has been removed why because these two pairs weren't in our pairs they weren't in our pairs so as these two pairs weren't there so i have removed those pairs if i talk about bucket number one a e is a e here yes i have written down a e is dc here dc is not in the pair so i have removed the dc pair in the similar fashion i will see each and every uh, pair and then include it in in my step number five and add the pairs to the same bucket which is repeated for example as you can see the c e c e was repeated twice one and two one and two it, it, it was two times so i have i have increased it like uh, the number of times c e c e i have allotted c e if it is repeated twice i have allotted to the same bucket in the similar fashion in the similar fashion uh you can see for example bc bc was written here once but i can see in my original pair it was two two times one and two so i have repeated that and allotted it to the same bucket number in the similar way you can see b e was uh, in in in, an, in my original pair it was three times one two three so I have repeated it three times and after after completing this table, I will write the count of it. Uh, so in bucket number zero, there were three count bucket number one. There was one bucket number two, two, but three, it was, wasn't there and similar passion. Moving on. Moving on to the last step, we, we need to make a prepare a candidate table. We need to make a proper table in which first one is bit vector, other one is bucket number, third one is highest support count, fourth one pair, and then candidate set. As you can see, our first pair was AD, second was CE. First pair was AD, second one was CE. So as you can see, the they they both were allotted with the bucket number zero, and there and how many times do they occur in my table? As you can see. Um, AD occurs only once, but CE occurs two times. So AD occur once, CE occur two times. And in the similar way, I will fill all the respective pairs and allot them their bucket number. Highest support count was the count of each pair, how many times it occurred in my this step number five. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me tell you about what is bit vector. Now for the bit vector, you can see again the support count, our minimum threshold value or support count was two. So um, we need to pass those pairs to the candidate set which has the pair equal or greater than our minimum threshold value which was 2. So as our minimum threshold value was 2, so this pair will only be passed to the candidate set but this pair AD will not be passed to the candidate set because its count was 1 and our minimum threshold value was 2. So it will not be passed. As it will not be passed, his bit vector is 0 but the CE will be passed so its bit vector is 1. But AE has a, a count of one it will not be passed it has a bit vector zero and in a similar way we will fill all the remaining set the set that comes into the candidate set will be called as our c2 set now i will tell you an alternative way like if you do not want to use this particular way step number four and then step number five and then this last step you have an alternative way to see the step number to do the step number four 
which is as follows um, remove element in step number two and step number three we remove in step number one to make l1 set for example as you can see in, in, in our l1 set in inverse step number one you can see in step number one we remove this d element by because its count was less than the threshold value we have already removed it so what we can do we can remove all the pairs of d all our diagonal pairs as you know in, in our d pairs we have already removed it and remove pair which aren't in step number two pairs what was the step number this was step number two pairs step number two pairs only include ac so we have taken this part bc we have taken bc this part be be this part this part this part we have only taken those sets which were the part of step number two now make the bucket table and see for example you can see then the bucket who has zero these are, are the only one that we have selected and we will only focus on these one we will reject the other ones for the bucket number zero it is ce ce means how many times ce occurs in our original table one and two two times so i, I have written two count ae how many times ae has occurred in my original table one time in the similar way i will fill this table you write unique buckets from above table along with their pair and counts in the last step remove all the pairs who has count less than minimum support that is zero in the equation hence we have c2 candidate set we need to remove this we need to remove this why we need to remove this because they have it has a count less than the minimum support level we will select this 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 so we have select ce bc be and ac so these are candidate set number c2 it is similar to the what we have previously made thank you guys for watching the video